Sunday morning, I think it's about 6.30. Um, I can't sleep in as much as I would love to and Tom's super boring and sleeping in. And I was like, come on, I want to go for a walk and get a coffee. And then I realised I'm making my own coffee at home. So I jumped out of bed, I'm about to make a coffee. I'm going to sit in peace and quiet and read the paper. This is heaven. So Tom is still asleep in bed. I'm bored. I've made a coffee. I've read the papers. I'm going to take Giuseppe for a walk, um, go and buy some fresh bread, some bacon, and an avocado if it's not too expensive, and cook some breakfast for us. I'm going to put my headphones and my phone, and I'm going to listen to a book through the blink list. So it's going to be a lovely, peaceful morning walk. Okay, so I just went to my local Metro Woolworth store to get some stuff for breakfast. Um, I was really conscious to, as I was walking around picking things up um, to make sure I added them up in my head so I knew exactly how much I was going to get hit with at the cash register. Um, I spent like $21.20 or something like that. And I was thinking, I haven't even bought bread yet. I'm going to go to a Sonoma across the road because the bread there is more expensive but absolutely beautiful. Um, I did reward myself with some sparkling mineral water because I'm feeling a bit parched from the walk and some fresh um, raspberries, so that's my little treat. Um, yeah, so I think I'm probably going to come to close to $30, so just wondering how much I'd probably potentially spend if I went out to breakfast to a cafe. Need to figure the mass out on that. So I just spent $7.50 on some Sonoma white artesian bread. Um, this was $7.50, a lot more expensive than the supermarkets, but this bread is freshly made, um, no nasty ingredients, and I think well worth the investment. It's already sliced, so I'm going to make sure I put some in the freezer so I can enjoy it for the rest of the week and save money on eating um, breakfast at home or having snacks at home with Rocco. Alright, Saturday night, really quickly, we were invited for a birthday dinner, which was really fun, and um, one of our friends drove, um, so that was great. We didn't have to spend much money on cabs. We went for drinks afterwards, and um, I paid for drinks and rounds of drinks in cash, which was good because it made me very conscious and present as I was handing over, you know, a $50 note. And um, we didn't have a particularly late night, um, which meant we didn't spend too much money on, you know, expensive rounds of drinks um, for a long period of time. And it also helped because it meant I definitely did not have a hangover this morning. Moving on, there's something I really important I want to make sure that you were doing. Every time you save money, I want you to consciously and proactively take that money, the exact amount, and put it away. Now, I want you to put it somewhere where you can't touch it. So either a separate savings account or something like a money tin like this that I borrowed from Rocco or even a simple glass jar. The point is I want you to take it away so you don't accidentally spend it. You don't want to be really frugal through the month of February and then find that you're just spending all those savings on other things that you aren't even really aware of. The point of doing this is we get to the end of the month and we find out or work out how much money we have saved. So on Friday, which was the first, sorry, no, Thursday was the first, um, I didn't spend any money and I normally budget um, around about $100 per work week to get me through. That's to cover me for coffees, lunches, occasionally picking up dry cleaning, any other little incidentals along the way. On Thursday, I didn't actually spend anything at all. So my budget of $100 per work week, like Monday to Friday, but averaging $20 a day, was completely saved. So I'm popping it in here. Okay, now also um, from the weekend, um, especially that I didn't get to buy that wetsuit or get my hair cut, um, and thank you to our friend who drove, um, I actually saved quite a bit of money from my budget allocation for weekend socialising. So I'm popping the money in here as well um, that I saved um, because that all adds up because that was all frugal money. But just so you know, in the past when I don't spend as much as I've allocated for my weekly um, and weekend budget. I normally just put whatever is left over from that weekend, if there is money, that is, aside so that for the weekends or weekdays where I do go over a budget, I never need to grab a credit card. I've always got some sort of cash available to use or some of use my life account to also tap into when I have a bit of a blowout, which is unexpected. Now, if you don't know about the Sugar Mama budget app, it is so good and I've had such amazing feedback from people as to how it's helping them save so much money and that's exactly what I wanted to do but I just have it saved here um, you can download it from the app store it's really easy to use and it's also a lot of fun 
Um, I also found one dollar this morning when I was putting on my shorts um, that fell out of the pocket and um, also any, um, even putting, not just notes in here, every single coin that I save from being frugal is going in there. So every little um, dollar is going to cut that up. And as my paternal grandmother used to say to my dad, look after the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. Okay, I want to make a quick observation about buying breakfast to cook at home this morning. So breakfast cost really about $30 because I already had some key ingredients at home. Now, if Tom and I were to go out for breakfast together, the like in a cafe, like a normal cafe, the bill probably wouldn't have been that much more than what we paid for to have the key ingredients. And we would have enjoyed the luxury of someone cooking um, for us and someone cleaning up after us. But um, I want to make something uh, like a, an important point out because a lot of people say it's actually cheaper to go out um, to eat. And up front, yes, it is initially, but when you think about it, I still have a huge loaf of bread left over, which will keep me going for the rest of the week um, to eat with Rocco. I also have like more eggs left over, um, and there is still a little bit of avocado left over, which I can put into a salad to have for lunch this week. So. If you're one of those people that finds yourself kind of justifying eating out all the time because it's cheaper, especially for like small, um, uh, like like couples or single people, do have a think about the longevity of the food that you buy in that you can put it in the fridge or freezer and it can last longer and potentially like feed more meals from the one purchasing bulk purchasing of food. Now I want to point out a little bit of a danger zone in doing Frugal February. If you're really serious about doing it, you've got to be really strong and people will laugh at you, bag you out and try and derail your success and put temptation in your way. Today for lunch, Tom was like saying, oh, can we please just go out for lunch? You know, you know, we'll go and grab some nice Italian and have a, you know, glass of rosé together. You know, I'm bored, let's get out. And I was like, initially I was like, oh, all right, okay. Fine, you know, and then I went, actually, no, I'm doing Frugal February, like, don't get in my way of, like, making this successful, um, in the nicest possible way. And I said, you know what, we've got a fridge full of Marley Spoon, um, meals. We actually have a lovely bottle of rosé already in the fridge. And I got up and cooked it. We shared the wine in the courtyard. We enjoyed actually a really nice meal. And as much as Tom would never ever admit it um, to me, I think he actually really enjoyed not having to, you know, get dressed up or get in the car or go somewhere that he could just roll from the sofa to the courtyard and enjoy a really nice meal um, together, um, connecting and bonding. So if someone tries to like say, oh no, you know, it's only like a $20 saving, what's the point? Or, you know, you're being boring or dull, put your foot down, be strong, stand up for yourself and own Frugal February. You're the one that's going to benefit from this. And you know what? As I always like to say, you never know who you will end up inspiring. So tonight I was actually reviewing my own budget um, through the Sugar Mama budget app. I have just enrolled Rocco into karate lessons, which he's loving. So I had to make sure I updated my um, monthly expenses to include that cost. Now, on that note of Rocco, I was just reflecting, thinking about this horrendous um, tantrum that he had yesterday at the hairdressing salon. And I'm wondering whether it was potentially off the, triggered this tantrum off the back of me saying no to him having some money to put in the um, kind of go-kart bus thing at the shopping mall. If that is the case, and I'm not 100% sure, I've got to be a lot more diligent and proactive in talking to him about money, what it takes to make money, the flow of money, and respecting money. These days, kids grow up in a cashless society. We They don't really understand what we're tapping with our cards or swiping our cards or even tapping our mobile phones to pay for things. They don't, they can't grasp the concept of that and if this is the case if that's what caused the tantrum I've got to nail um, like get on top of this problem as quickly as possible now on that note of like saying no um, I was actually looking online for those jumpers that my girlfriend was wearing that was on sale and I found them I'm like oh they're so nice and they had like a this great range of other ones anyway they had actually all sold out so 
initially I was like, oh, damn, like there's, they're all sold out and, and not available. And then I had realized I actually had this sense of relief. The sense of relief that I didn't have to worry about feeling guilty for buying a jumper. Um, that relief in knowing deep down I actually have plenty of jumpers. And also that sense of like stupidity going, it's the middle of summer. I do not need to buy a jumper right now. It's, if I buy one, it's not really going to be worn anytime soon. So it would be such a waste of money. So the best way to explain this feeling it was like a sense of empowering energy and that relief makes me feel so much better. So um, so many blessings to come from the word no that do not include tantrums.